something a little different I decided that I would film a beauty routine so I've got my hair my makeup my outfit my pair routine all in the one video in case you guys ever want to see it so you can come back and see it all in the one place so hopefully you guys like this video and if you do like seeing videos like this make sure to give the video a massive thumbs up for me and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button make sure to scroll down below and subscribe because I post new videos every single week and I've got some really exciting videos coming up that you don't want to miss out on I'm super curious though I really want to know what time you guys wake up Leave me a comment down below letting me know what time you wake up. I manage to wake up at 6.45 every single morning, like without a doubt. I don't really know how it happens. I think even if I turn my alarm off, I can still wake up at that time. Does that happen to anyone else? But anyway, let me know what time you wake up in the morning. I'm super nosy. Also, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram already, make sure to head over and follow me. This is what my feed looks like. I'm kind of proud of it, not gonna lie. But anyway, hopefully you guys like the video and let's get into it. things first, I thought I would show you guys my makeup routine. I kind of switch it up every single day and sometimes I just don't even wear makeup but number one thing that I do do if I'm doing my makeup is put on some primer so I love this one by It Cosmetics. Personally, I have super oily skin so the best foundation that I have tried so far for oily skin is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. It's really good so if you can get your hands on it, I definitely recommend it. Half the time I actually skip concealer but if I don't skip it, I'll normally just go in with Shape Tape which is from Tarte or I also really like the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. Gotta keep up with that oily skin life so I go in and set my foundation. I just use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and then for bronzer I really like this bronzer in this It Cosmetics palette. It's like a face palette which comes with like four different things like blush, highlighter, setting powder, everything. I still feel like I don't really understand how to feel in eyebrows like a professional but for eyebrows I like to use the browsings. Is that what it's called? Browsings? Yes, anyway. <laughs> to set my eyebrows, I just use Brow Drama by Maybelline. This stuff is the bomb, saves my life. I think I'd have crazy brows if I didn't use this stuff. If you guys were ever curious about my all time favorite eyeshadow, this is it. It's by the brand Kiko and it's in the shade 41. It's $5 and it legit change my life. Sometimes if I'm feeling it, I'll go in and deepen up my eyeshadow. So if I do, I'll go in with the shade Sidekick by Makeup Geek. It's just a little deeper than the Kiko one. And those two eyeshadows are legit the only eyeshadows that I ever use ever. So inside this little eye cream jar is actually Mary Luminizer. I cracked it and then Kane reset it into an eye cream jar for me, which was really sweet. Hashtag boyfriend goals. But I usually just use that to highlight the inner corner of my eyes because I never use highlighter anywhere else because I don't want to look oily. <laughs> then I'll just go in with my eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes and even though I do this every single day I still get paranoid that I'm gonna chop my eyelashes off with my eyelash curler. For mascara I always go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex or I also have one that's in a green tube by CoverGirl but it was all dried up. That one's also super good but like expectations versus reality like how you think you look versus how ugly you actually look when you put mascara on. And then to finish off my makeup I'll just go in with some lipstick. This one's in the shade Daringly Nude by Maybelline and I clearly am obsessed because I've got none left. Moving on, I thought I would talk about self tanning because so many of you guys have been commenting on my videos recently telling me how tan I look and thank you so much, but I haven't been going in the sun to do that. I've just been self tanning. I mean, I'm kind of a part of like the squad that burns in 25 seconds. So I'm sure it's no surprise, but the tan that I use is Bondi Sands. I love their light medium tanning foam because it's super natural, like it's not too dark. And if you guys are, like trying this for the first time, I definitely recommend the light medium because then you can kind of like work your way up. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> All I do to get tan is just jump in the shower before I even think about putting tan on my body and I get in and exfoliate my body and remove the dead skin, which is kind of gross. But if you guys don't remove the dead skin, you're probably gonna end up with like dark elbows when you put the tan on. And then when I find I jump out of the shower, I just go in with some moisturizer and then I put it on like my elbows and my knees and that way those bits don't get extra dark because they're like a little drier. And then I start applying it so if you guys don't have a tanning mitt, I totally recommend getting one otherwise you're probably going to end up with orange hands. But I just pump some of my tan into my mitt and just start rubbing it on my body in circular motions. Normally when I'm 
pretty tan on though. I don't wear clothes, but for the purpose of this video remaining on the internet, I made like a DIY sleeveless top because apparently I don't own one of those. But normally I'm just like in the bathroom naked, just saying. Is that TMI? And then I just like literally go to sleep in my tan. It doesn't stain the sheets or anything, which is really good. So I just sleep in it because you need to leave it on for like a couple of hours. And then the next morning I wake up and wash it all off and I'm super bronzy and tan. If you guys do want to try out Bon Essence or you just want to like stock up, they do give me a code. So the code is SJB20 for 20% off. You guys can go check out their website. I'll leave it in the links down below. So don't me to show you guys how I do my hair and you guys seem to ask me how I do it a lot and to be completely honest I feel like I just wing it every single day. First things first is I go in and I take my hairbrush and I just brush through my hair. This one is the Tangle Pro. It's just a wannabe tangle teaser. I'm just gonna go in brush my hair pretty standard but all I actually need to do my hair is a curling wand and I also need some of these clips. I call these kidney clips because I always take them and clip cane in the kidneys with them but I don't know what they're called. Hair clips? I don't know. You literally do hit me in the kidney with them though. <laughs> Actually, I lied. I also need a heat protecting glove because every single time I do my hair without one of these bad boys, I burn myself. All you want to do is take a section of your hair. I try to take as much hair as possible because I'm so lazy that I do not want to be here curling my hair for like the next 20 minutes. And then take my wand, I just curl away from my face. And then instead of curling all the way to the bottom, I just leave a little bit of hair free because I feel like it looks more beachy. Two seconds. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I feel like if you just leave this little piece of hair, it looks a little bit more beachier than if you curl all the way to the bottom like that. And then just hold it for like 15 to 20 seconds. All you wanna do is let it out into your hand and do not let go of it. Do not let go of it. So I take one of these clips and instead of letting it go down, I just clip the curl to my head and I leave it there until the curls are all cooled down properly, which only takes like two minutes anyway. But I just find if I drop them down once they're cold, they hold for a lot longer than if I drop them down while they're still hot. So moving on, I just go in and finish up the rest of my hair. I do the exact same thing for my whole head. So I take a big section of hair, curl it all the way from my face, and then I clip it up to my head. It takes about eight curls to do my whole head of hair. So this is what my hair looks like when I finish clipping it all to my head. Kind of looks a little bit ridiculous. I actually went in and got Kane to time it for me so I could tell you guys how long it took. And it actually only took seven minutes and 16 seconds to get to this Basically, all that's left to do is just to take these out and then hairspray my hair, which I'm pretty excited about, especially because this thing keeps falling in my face. So, all that's left to do is spray them, and I kind of also look like a poodle at the moment, which is normally what happens, so I'm just gonna like brush them out and mess them up a little bit, and then I'm pretty much done. me on Instagram where I get my clothing from. I thought I'd do an OOTD in this video showing you guys what I'm wearing. So first things first, I have a dress on from Princess Polly and you guys may be thinking, Sarah, you're not wearing a dress, but my top is actually a dress that I tucked into my skirt. This belt is like so old. I've honestly probably had it for like two years and it is from Boohoo. So if it's not available, I'll just link a different one down below that's kind of similar. My handbag is from Colette. It's so cool. It's like the perfect shade of brown with a little tassel on it, which I thought was pretty sweet. And then I have some super killer dance moves. So if you guys ever want to dance with me, feel free to hit me up. But anyway, my skirt that I'm wearing is from the Kendall and Kylie collection. I'm really obsessed with it. I lost this in my own closet. I don't know how that happened. And then I found it again like six months later and I was so happy. And lastly, I've got some Converse on because, you know, doing my weird dance moves, I need some really comfy shoes on because there's like two important things in life, comfort and food. So you've got to have both of them. So my hat is also from Forever 21. It was super cheap and it kind of reminds Reminds me Loki of Vanessa Hudgens. Not gonna lie, kind of have a girl crush on her, so when I wear it, I kind of feel really cool. <laughs> Like at least once a week. I want to say once a week, I go in and do like a massive pamper possession and I like paint my nails and put on a face mask and then just like generally be a weirdo, but that's kind of like all the time. And another thing that I like doing is using body oil. So I really, really love this one by Flora Remedia. This one's their detoxing body oil. So it's really good for reducing cellulite and water retention. And I'm super obsessed with this one because when I put it on right before I go to sleep, I feel like super, super relaxed because it smells so good. 
good and it's 100% natural, not tested on animals and vegan friendly. Also, they did give me a discount code, so if you guys do want to purchase anything on their website, they have a ton of awesome stuff and just use the code Sarahflora. I'll leave it all in the links down below. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments what time you wake up. I'm super nosy. And if you did like this video and you haven't already given it a thumbs up, make sure to do so and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as well. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you're not following me on Instagram already, make sure to head over and follow me. My handle is at Bits. That's also my handle on Snapchat. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!